The garden maze at Luray Caverns is the largest and most popular hedge maze in the United States of America. Here's John Schneider on the subject. Hi, welcome to the garden maze. I'm John Schneider, and let me tell you a little bit about your experience here today. Don't worry about a thing. You'll enter the garden maze and you'll find your way out. We jokingly tell our guests that we get everyone out at midnight, so don't worry about a thing. The maze is counterintuitive and tricky. If you need to go right, it is often necessary to go left in order to get right. The design of the maze is a diamond inscribed in the center of a square. This means that the pathways start out to be joining each other perpendicularly in the square part of the maze, but when they hit the diamond, things get tricky. Now it becomes a diagonal. The neat thing about the diagonal paths found in the diamond part of the maze is that they transport you from one sector of the maze to another. You may start in the upper right side of the maze, hit a diagonal, and then be magically transported through the looking glass and end up in a totally different sector of the maze. Things get even more convoluted because there's a tower which allows the paths of the maze to pass over one another. This once again transports you from one sector of the maze to another. When our guests enter the garden maze, they are given mission cards, which are handy to help them record their way through the maze. There are four hidden goals within the maze. Each one has a stamper on it attached to it. Guests are asked to take the stamper, stamp their card, and find their way to the next goal. The four goals combine to tell a message about the garden maze. I became fascinated with garden mazes when I visited them in England. It seemed to be a great project to bring across the pond to the United States. For a fresh air family adventure, the garden maze at Luray Caverns should not be missed.